<laughs> Thelma. Thelma's pretty excited. So I got some new fencing going up at the Safe Haven Ranch. And I didn't want the animals to be in my friend's way that's helping me out. So I'm going to go ahead and let the animals kind of roam free. But anyways, hope you're having a great day today. I do have to close the front gate so they don't escape. Did have a situation the other day where my dog Gracie took off when I opened the gate. Hey, where are you going, Macy? Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Here they all come. Don't mess with the house. No head butting. <laughs> well, she's like eating and whining. <laughs> Look how much bigger Dak is than Cookie. And by the way, Cookie's doing a lot better since we got her on the anti-seizure medicine. Pretty much just eats and sleeps, goes poop. She don't do much other than that. Like she doesn't like to be cuddled with very much like she used to be. She's, uh, she's just an old dog. These guys, these guys are trouble. Don't get into my trash. Oh. That's what happened to my ball. Great Pyrenees are great dogs. However, as puppies, they can be a little destructive. They don't listen very well, but they're great dogs. I just hate when they're around the house. I usually don't let them out like this. We still have a building going on and there's trash that they could get into. I found them in my house a few times. Yeah, the other day, I'm like fighting Lamar to get out of the house. He went inside of the house. Hey, so I wanted to quickly show you the progress on our house that has taken two years to build. We have drywall completed. Everything has been sanded down. They have like a texture applied. See there, this is kind of what they do in a lot of houses in Florida. They put this, it's called like Spanish lace texture. It's really nice. And I could imagine it covers a lot of mess ups too, but I love it. I love textured walls. At this point, there's really not a whole lot to do. I mean, there's, I mean, there's a lot to do, but it's a lot of finishing work now, like completing the doors, putting moldings like baseboards, crown molding. I think, we, oh no, I think one of the animals got it. Sounds like Macy. Yeah, and then we have flooring, carpet, things like that. After that, I think we have a house to move into and I'm excited about that because been waiting a long time. Now the upside for waiting the two years to build this house was of course the price because it wasn't something that was done right away. I mean, usually you're gonna be spending a lot more money on a newly constructed house that's already done versus waiting. So that was that was the upside to it. I mean, we, we saved a lot of money. Like right now I could probably flip this house and make like a ton of money off of it, but I ain't trying to move. Like I love this place, I love the property, my animals love it. Why do you guys pick here? Of all places, they're like there's so much crap here. Like look, like, look at this, look at this place. And they want to eat here. Like, come on guys. Yeah, that's right. Like what's so tasty about the grass here? Like there's just sand. Oh my gosh. I mean, I could understand that with Miss Piggy. I mean, she's just having a good old time with that little dirt mound. Look, <laughs> Miss Piggy, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look how big she's gotten. She's like three times bigger than the last time. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Come on, come on. Even Mona, like, Mona, you're being a bad example. Like, at least the llamas are chilling over there. Like, why? Why over here by the house? I know why. You guys want to drop dookies here for all the workers that have been slacking and leaving trash on the property. I think that's what it is. All right, let's see how these guys are going. Hi. Oh, one got out. What the heck? So my chickens, I can't believe how big they are. In fact, they got so big in this little area that I had to transfer them to the bigger area. And we have ducks coming soon. I'm thinking about a week. Hey, mister, where are you going? Here, let me help you out. Give me. Oh, gosh. How'd you get out? Oh, gosh. Ah, ah, gotcha. Gotcha. It's okay. It's okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, boy, oh, my boy, oh, my boy, oh, my boy. But look, these guys are getting feathers now, which is great. I think in about another, I don't know, maybe a week and a half, I might start putting them outside in the actual chicken coop. There you go. Look at these guys. They're so big. But that one's got little furry feet. How cute is that? <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like it has like some fur boots on. Only lost one chicken out of the bunch. I don't know if you remember, I ordered these guys and they sent me two extra in case one died. Upon arrival, the one that I had was, you could tell he was kind of sick or she was sick and we lost her like in a day, which was really sad. We tried everything. We had her separated from the flock. We do have an extra one because I ordered 25 and now I have 26. Look at these guys. Hi, Lily. Lily's so sweet. She's my favorite. Well, I mean, you know, they're all my favorite, but. Oh, these guys are always getting their water dirty. You have to see this, so I'm already trying to train them with little wormies. Look what daddy's got. Oh, oh, oh. Look, they're already eating out of my hand. This is something that you want to start doing if you get baby chickens or baby ducks early on. They loving the worms. 
Some of them are still a little shy. Seeing the other ones encouraged to eat from your hand, but they're like fighting over the worms. So yeah, right now, this little storage shed is coming in handy for my babies. I may, I don't know, I may use it for just that, for baby birds because I do plan on having the flock kind of, I don't know, regenerate, especially with ducks. Ducks lay a ton of eggs. We will be using their eggs for food, of course, but some of them that are fertile, because we do have two roosters. I only originally had one rooster, so yeah, we got two, and they're gonna be those big boy roosters, like big. So yeah, they are gonna procreate. Pretty soon, I could start separating some of the animals. That way, they don't get pregnant right now. They're still too young, especially the goats. And I'm gonna do just that once we get these other fences completed, which is gonna be sad because I'm even gonna start separating the dogs. Miss Piggy, what you doing out here? Hi, baby. Oh, are these guys getting in my trash? Oh. Yep. Got in my trash. Well, they're getting into my trash. What are you doing, Gracie? Oh my God. Hey, look, I love you guys, but I do not want you getting into the trash. Not good for you. Okay, this guy was like, he was sleeping on the ground, like just licking the bag. I scared him too. He was like, oh, don't mess with his trash. Hey, I just fed you too. Sorry if I scared you. I love you. No, great. Going right back to the trash. Nice. Right, All right, I'm going to have to bag up this trash. Okay, I think Mona wants to eat cookie. She's like, yeah, she looks like a snack. Maybe Lily too. I think all the cows, or maybe they just want to eat her food. I have her in this little enclosure here just so then she doesn't wander off. Yeah, my grass needs some cutting down there. Go ahead, hook it up, Macy. Go ahead, Lily. Eat those plants for me. All right, don't lick the gasoline. Leave the gasoline alone. Gracie, what are you doing? Are you trying to pull off? Maybe there's a fish in there? Oh boy, look at Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> that is FOMO right there. Fear of missing out. Come on, Dixie girl. Pretty easy to get them back over here. The cows, I mean, once I get their attention, it's pretty easy. Hi, baby. Okay, so Mona just headbutted my window. Hopefully it's intact still. All right, she's getting away from it, good. Had to bribe them with some food. Here, the, here come the little cows. Is that yummy, Lamar? Yeah, is it good? She's doing it again. What is she doing? Headbutting the window. I don't think she's ever seen her own reflection. What is Mona doing now? Oh my gosh, look at her. I think they're liking my shooting mound there. <laughs> what the heck, Lily? All right, go for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, these guys are going to town. All right, it's better than them hanging around the house. Got a majority of the other animals back in the one paddock because we're done with the fence pole there. That's my boy, Matt, right there. Swampland Fence Company. He's the one that did all my fencing. Amazing guy is Matt. And he travels pretty much all over Central Florida, some parts of North Florida. So, yeah, man, look him up on Facebook. Oh, boy. Watch it, my boy. All right, this is my second time coming in here to check on them. They need their water changed out pretty much twice a day. Hey, y'all be nice. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Okay, no kiss. You know the whole give me kiss thing started from my chickens that I used to own years ago? I think. I'm pretty sure that's where it all came from. Give me a kiss. Aw. Okay, I think she was just using the potty privately. Looks like a nun, like a chicken nun. Okay, I know your name. That's gonna be Mary. Mary's quite a popular nun name. Oh no, let me know here in the comments. Mary or nun, or Mary nun. <laughs> ah, gotcha. She is so cute. Okay, Mary or nun. Look at this, like she's such a cute, oh, I know what kind of chicken this is gonna be. This is one of the like fluffy head ones. Yeah, I got a bunch of different breeds. How cute are you? Oh my gosh. All right, check this out. I am so excited. I got little V here on the farm now. <laughs> How you doing, little V? As you know, we're staying in a camper. Don't have a whole lot of room for little V. Little V can still hang out here with us, so. I can't let little V out of his enclosure because he will fly away. You know, this is nice because he can hang out with the chickens. This is our chicken house right now, for now. During the day, he can hang out out here with us. Thank you. He's a good bird. He's a good bird. I love you, my bird. This is great because I love spending time with Lil V and just hanging out with him. And he loves hanging out with me. He's always on my shoulder, chilling. Uh, right now, he was, he was in there with me for, you know, the last couple hours. And yeah, it's the first time in a little while that I put, yeah, see, yeah. This is nice because I've missed Lil V so much. And I don't get to spend a whole lot of time with him because he was at the other house. He's here now at the Safe Haven Ranch forever. I do want to eventually, it may sound crazy, I've been watching a couple videos on it, but I want to flight train him. 
Oh, you know, oh my god. I know, teach them how to like just kind of free fly. And this is a perfect area to do it because it's so open here on the ranch. And I mean, look, we have all that open country space up there too. So it's gonna it's gonna be a little while before I start doing that. I'm gonna have to learn a little bit more, but I think it'd be nice for V. That's why I have not clipped his wings or anything like that. But I don't want him to fly away. I don't think he will though. He's attached you to me. You don't know. He might get some wind beneath his wings and be like, Whoa! no, and then not know how to get back. Because they bond with with their humans. So remember that big old bale of hay that I had, you know, in the barn. Well, the animals, I don't know. Some of them eat from it. Some of them are kind of intimidated by it. So I'm separating a little bit, putting some in, you know, this little guy right here. Um, I think Mona eats from it for the most part. I think the llamas are kind of scared of it. That's okay. Ah, dude, I'll tell you what, this is a hundred bucks well spent because I've easily spent about a hundred dollars on hay in one week with like those little square bales that fill up these uh, holders right here. One of those little square things of hay usually costs about anywhere from 10 to $20 a piece. And sometimes I get them that like that really good TA Timothy alfalfa type hay. This is all Timothy hay, which is pretty good quality hay. It weighs a lot, but it's cool. I think for the hay farmers out there, it's much easier for them to package it up in a big roll. And that's why they sell it a lot cheaper versus putting it in small groups of hay, you know? Oh, that was a fail. So if you have quite a few animals, want to save a couple bucks, don't waste your time with those small little square things of hay. If you have a place to put it and store it, get one of these big boys right here because they last a long time, but you gotta make sure you keep them dry. So I have them in this area right here so it doesn't get wet, even though we have, haven't had a whole lot of rain here in Florida. Yeah, none of it goes to waste. Almost none of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at Miss Piggy. <laughs> she moves fast for a big girl. Where are you going? Had a little bit of a scare right now. As I was in the, you know, the hay area, I hear Tiffany screaming. I know how just a little bit ago we brought little V. But when we were transporting his cage, they opened up a little area and he escaped. Oh gosh, hoping he doesn't fly away again. But he came right to me. He was in my neighbor's tree. <laughs> I think he was pretty scared. I just had to run all the way from back there on foot so i'm out of breath right now isn't it funny that i was just talking about little v going for like a free fly <laughs> got his little free flight oh so yeah he ended up over there in that tree good thing i got nice neighbors oh he let me over and little v came right to me look he's like scared <laughs> he's scared oh a little bit ago too i saw a hawk and the dogs were chasing it away. Goes to show you how awesome they are at guarding livestock. Like they know what predators are. You okay, little baby? This was open. It was like this. And gotcha. she fl he flew out that way and yep. took off. I'm glad it, he flew out while we were all around it because yeah. they noticed it. I was over here looking at Lilani. Did the neighbor tell you? No, we were standing over here. Mido was like, the bird just flew out. Oh and I was gosh. like, what? And I look over and then there's V just hopping through the yard. Did you have a good time flying around? Look how little Chloe is next to them. She's showing the dogs who's boss. Chloe, Chloe, be nice. Come here, Chloe. Come here, Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> a really good reason to have another dog. So Luna listens, okay? These breeds, you know, they listen sometimes. It's when they want to listen. They're very independent. I've mentioned that before. But like, they don't always come when you call them like, look, hey, Dak, come here. Come here, Dak. Come here. See, they won't come. <laughs> Unless you got a treat or something. I mean, sometimes they'll come to you. Got a lot of poopy stuff going on, which I got to clean some poop right now. So if you don't mind. Mona's always so curious of Luna. I think she thinks she's like a small calf. <laughs> Look at these cute little guys. Oh my goodness, they are so stinking cute. You're cute too. I never forget Miss Piggy. My favorite cutie pie though. I'm not gonna say favorite, but the most cutest. It's my little Macy girl. Oh, you're so cute. Mm. Stack, Gracie. <laughs> See, they just want to do their own thing. You know, go get them. Go get, go get them. Go get them. Go get them. Go bring them back. No, not the plastic bag. I mean, that's good too, but no, yeah, go get the dogs. Go get them, Luna. Go get them. Uh, she's, she's not a, you know, a herding type dog, but. Come on, guys. Oh, look, they're coming. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Not, no, no, Luna, you'll get eaten by the llama. Come on, guys. Come on, Dad. Come on, Gracie. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, come on. What are you guys doing? Okay. No more digging holes, okay? I just fixed this hole. Hopefully, they don't make another one or just dig this one a little deeper. I think the tractor needs a name. What should we name him? Bertha. Bertha? <laughs> it's like a little mini tractor. It is a nice tractor. Maribel. It's a Mahindra. You could name it. Indra. Indra or Mahi? I got a good name. Oh. 
Or Mar Wait, Omarhi. Omarhi, yeah. Omarhi. Or the safe haven scoop. So yeah, this came in handy. I gotta fill this one in now. Look how big this hole is. Hey, I guess what just happened right now. That hole that I just finished repairing, yep, it's a it's a new hole now. Courtesy of our great Pyrenees puppies. Look who I got here, my little nephews. Hey Isaac, say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hey, it's Junior right there. Hi, Junior. Is that hi, Junior. You see the tractor? You want to go sit in the tractor? Yeah. You guys want to drive the tractor? Yeah. You want to drive it around? Yeah. Psych! <laughs> go ahead, pretend to drive. Here. Go like that. Oh, wait. You going to close it in? All right, I'm going to close the door. All right, there you go. <laughs> oh, you need the keys? I don't have the keys right now. Yeah, I think the tractor's broken. Yeah, it's broken. And these are actually, I'm not clickbaiting. I, I don't know why, but my blades back here are like off to the side and I have no idea why. I'm still kind of new to tractors. Ah, no, I did this earlier. Oh, ah. Luna, you are so lucky, I love you. Cause I'd probably wipe this on you if I did. Okay, I'm coming. You guys are cool. You're okay. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> Give her a hug. Okay. You can pet her. Just be really nice. Aww. <laughs> Look, Junior. The pet hug. Be really nice. Pet her very gentle. Yeah. There you go. So gentle. She might spit at you if you don't. I think the goats are getting jealous. <laughs> Look. They're like, that's my slide. All right, don't step on any poopy. This is what I use to take care of the poopy, by the way. It just kind of runs it over and breaks it up into like a mulch. Hi, little buddy. How you doing? Hamlet's so cute. And Hamlet cute. These guys are having a blast. Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. Okay. Can we go faster? Can we go a little faster? All right, here we go. There's a little booby right there. Oh, it's a big old booby. Oh. Nice and clean. Good for fertilization too. It also reduces the chances of parasites when you break it up like that. Look who I have here. Here, let her eat. Let her eat her from my hand. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mona? Hey, <laughs> go ahead. Let her eat her from your hand. Oh, don't be scared. So in a couple days, um, it could be today actually. I'm gonna be getting in some baby ducks. Also got for the very first time ever baby geese, and they're gonna kind of help protect the ducks and the flocks when it comes to the poultry. So anyways, in the next video, we should be getting some ducks and geese. It's gonna be fun. Gotta go for now before we leave, give me a kiss.